It's been a summer like no other in Dorset. In the months since lockdown, restrictions were relaxed and many parts of the county have been inundated with visitors and some places have struggled to cope, putting police under considerable pressure. Dorset police say they've never had so many 999 calls. There's been a 15% increase in reports of antisocial behaviour compared with last year and a 60% rise in illegal camping and fly-tipping. Nationally, though, police chiefs say demand is lower than normal. But Dorset says it expects a further increase in calls this bank holiday weekend. Sophia Seth has spent the day at their emergency control centre. Okay, Fox, four, four, go ahead. Summer is usually a busy time for call handlers here, but the pandemic and the easing of lockdown restrictions has certainly added to the workload. On top of having all of our normal roles of, say, our domestic abuse or our fights, we've had COVID breaches and antisocial behaviour has been a bit manic on our beaches, say, and our hotspots. We've had to try and distribute our officers evenly. The force says the increase in visitors coming to Dorset has led to the increase in 999 calls. We've seen a significant amount of calls around antisocial behaviour. So that's come from the volume of people down here, people uh, demonstrating drunken behaviour, but also issues around from parking to traffic. Um, we've also seen an increase around accidents on our roads. At the end of June, Dorset made national headlines when a major incident was declared by Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole Council, putting emergency services and authorities on standby after tens of thousands of people visited the beaches. It was one of those moments that we'd never experienced as a, as a police service before. I think it's difficult as time has gone on to get people to remember that we are still in a pandemic. Here in the control room, day-to-day -day 999 calls on most days are up by 30% compared to this time last year. But on the busiest days, that can double. Have you ever felt stretched because of the demand has been unprecedented? I think it would be wrong of me to say we haven't felt stretched at times, we haven't felt under pressure. And I think when you talk to our frontline staff and officers, um, they would say things have been incredibly busy and at times they've been under considerable pressure. But we have managed to meet that demand. Clive only started working here four months ago. We have had to deal with um, quite a few COVID-related things and, and also um, quite a few mental health concerns that might have been brought on by lockdown. So, yeah, it's been, it's been busy. Although the force recognises the importance of tourism to the county, it wants people to be respectful and safe. The team have already answered 269.99 calls today. It's important to mention that the stats get monitored from midnight to midnight, so that number will go up. But the team say it has been acquired today, partly because of the bad weather we've had. Despite that, this afternoon they've had 35 calls about flooding, some trees are down, and in the past half hour they've had a stolen vehicle reported, a theft, and also two cows stuck on a level cross crossing. Those cows have since been rescued. Now, nationally, the average number of calls across forces is going down, emergency calls that is. But here in Dorset, as we've been hearing, the number is going up, so they are bucking the national trend. The force says it is working hard to cope with this demand and are expecting a very busy bank holiday weekend, so they're encouraging everyone to plan their journeys and to ensure that they are safe. Sally. Sophia, thank you very much.